Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the 16th drug of the drug series that is Florbibrofen. Basically we are discussing the analgesic drug. So welcome to the new drug and let's begin the video. Florbibrofen is an acid used to treat the signs and the symptoms of the osteoarthritis and the rheumatoid arthritis. Its mechanism is similar to the brofen because it's the, it is the derivative of the brofen. Florbibrofen, a propanoic acid derivative, is an acid basically, is a non steroidal anti inflammatory agent with an antipyretic and analgesic activity because brofen having the same activity. That's why it is a derivative of the brofen, that's why it having the same activity. Now, oral formulation of the florbibrofen have may be used for the symptomatic treatment for the rheumatoid arthritis because it is anti-inflammatory in nature, osteoarthritis and alkalizing spondylitis. Florbibrofen may be used topically prior to the ocular surgery to prevent or reduce the intraoperative meiosis. Florbibrofen is structurally and pharmacodynamically related to phenoprofen, ibuprofen, that is the structurally resemble with the ibuprofen or brofen and ketoprofen. So this is the filbibrofen and here you can see the instructions dispensed in the tight light resistance container as defined in the USB using a child resistance closer. So what is the indication? Indication, as I described, osteoarthritis, that is a major indication of the florbiprofen. The other indications include in the long-term symptomatic treatment of the osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and alkaloidic spondylitis. These are all the inflammatory conditions, and this is basically the anti-inflammatory drug, so obviously it is used in that conditions. It may also be used to treat the pain associated with dysmenorrhea and mild to moderate pain accompanied by the inflammations, and these are the some inflammatory conditions in which you can use the fluorobibrofen. It is the OTC drug basically over the counter drug so you can easily assess this drug from the pharmacy. The commercially available fluorobibrofen is a racemic mixture of the S and the R enzymes. The S enzymes appear to possess the most of the anti-inflammatory while both enzymes may possess the analgesic activity. It is basically the acid in nature, so it is a propanoic acid class. Propanoic acid is basically the chemical class and acid is basically the th therapeutic class of this drug. And it is structurally and pharmacologically resembled to the ibuprofen, basically. So, fluorobibrofen exhibit T, anti-inflammatory, analgesic and antipyretic activities. If you remember, we discussed these activities in the brofen also. So if you didn't see that video, so go back and first check that video. LD50 is 10 mg per kg. What is the meaning of LD? LD is basically the lethal dose in the 50% of the population. That is 10 mg per kg and here you can see the brand name of the fluorobibrofen. This is the most commonly used brand and I must be sure you use this brand once in your life. Similar to other answers, the anti-inflammatory effects of the fluorobibrofen occur by the reversible inhibition of the cyclooxygenase. So which of the answers having the irreversible inhibition tell me in the comment box because we are already discussed that drug. Okay, so here you have a hint. That drug belongs to the analgesic classification, the enzyme responsible for the conversion of arachidonic acid to prostaglandin G and H in the prostaglandin synthesis pathway. This effectively decreases the concentration of prostaglandins, PGs, involved in the inflammation, pain, swelling, and fever, and whatever. Okay, fluorobibrofen is a non-selective cause inhibitor and inhibit the activity of both COX-1 and COX-2. It is also one of the most potent acid in terms of the prostaglandin inhibitory activity. So here you can see the two cross sign. That means it inhibit the COX-1 and COX-2. Why? Because it is the derivative of the brufen and brufen itself the 
non-selective answer that's why it is also the non-selective answer and what is the meaning of the non-selective that it inhibit both cox1 and cox2 enzyme so this is again the i'm trying to show you the brand name and it is available in the ophthalmic use ophthalmic preparation also fluorobuprofen sodium ophthalmic solution usp 0.03 percent so i have to show you some other brands of the fluorobuprofen this is basically the steps so obviously you can use this for the sore throats and etc so basically the steps are intensive having the fluorobuprofen that is anti-inflammatory and analgesic and all that so you can use this when you're having the sore throat. This is also the OTC. So this is basically some dosing criteria of the drug we are discussing. That is fluorobuprofen. Fluorobuprofen is used in the osteoarthritis. Along with the osteoarthritis, it is also recommended in the rheumatoid arthritis. Again, I'm repeating because these are both the inflammatory conditions and fluorobuprofen is basically the anti-inflammatory drug so the starting dose must be 200 to 300 mg per day in both of these conditions with the maintenance dose of 50 to 100 mg bd or qit that means two times or four times or as per needed Taking with food may delay the absorption and decrease the peak plasma level. Extent of absorption is not effective. So here you can see the summarized mechanism of action in the topic of answers because actually in the analgesic we obviously cover the answers. So first clear the concept what are the answers and how the answers are working. So here you can see the cell membrane phospholipid in which the Phospholipase E2 act and convert into the archidonic acid. Here, the archidonic acid by the effect of COX-1 and 2 convert into the prostaglandin G2 and ultimately into the H2. So, if we are talking about the drug we are discussing, that is a fluorobuprofen that inhibit the COX-1 and COX-2. Here you can see on the left hand side, acid block the COX-1 and the 2. So ultimately no prostaglandin G2 and H2 formation and it is finally converted into the tissue specific isomerase to the prostacyclin thromboxane A2. Thromboxane A2 is a very good thing because it is having the major role in the platelet vascular smooth muscles, kidney and macrophages. Now the prostaglandin D2 having their role in the muscles, brain and airway that means in the lungs. Prostaglandin E2 having their effect in the brain, kidney, vascular, smooth muscles and platy layers. Next, the prostaglandin F2 alpha are having their role in the important organs that are the uterus, lung, vascular, smooth muscles and eye. So these are basically the some concept of Answer and the drug and covering here for ibuprofen. So that's all with this video and with this drug. Inshallah, meet with a new drug with a new video. Till that, take care. Allah is.